Hello and welcome back to SciTitech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a WS2812 NeoPixel RGB LED with using an Arduino Uno. Let's get started. <laughs> jumper wires, a 220 ohm resistor, although I find that it's not necessary to have, but just to extend the life on these RGB LEDs, which is the WS2812B NeoPixels. You're also going to need some alligator clips, and of course, an Arduino Uno. Now, let's go ahead and assemble this project, and let's get started. What I'm going to do is take this 220 ohm resistor, Place it right here, just like this. Then, next, I'm going to take a jumper wire, connect it on this end, just like that. Another jumper wire, connect it on the opposite end, just like that. And this jumper cable is going to connect to pin 6. Like this. Pin 6 is connected to the resistor. And this connection is going to connect to the NeoPixels. I'm going to take an alligator clip, connect it to this jumper wire, and I'm going to take this alligator clip and connect it to the green wire, which is the signal wire. I'm going to take another alligator clip, I'm going to connect that the black wire, which is negative, and I'm going to take another jumper wire and connect it to the black alligator clip, and I'm going to connect that to ground. Next, I'm going to take another alligator clip, and I want to connect that to the red wire, which is positive. Take the other end of the alligator clip, connect that to jumper cable at to 5 volts just like that the black wire connects to ground which is right here the green wire which is connected to the digital pin and di it's digital in and do is digital out as you can see the arrow faces the direction this way which means the orientation of the flow of the circuit goes this direction the red wire, which is 5 volts, connects to 5 volts to power all of the LEDs. It's time to power the Arduino by taking the USB cable and plug it in. Next, open up the Arduino program, click on Sketch, scroll down to Include Library, I'll click on Manage Libraries, and now you've opened up a new window called Library Manager. Click over to the search bar and type in Adafruit NeoPixel. And as you can see, I've already installed Adafruit NeoPixel, but those of you who haven't, click on Install. Once you've installed, go ahead and click on File, Examples, Scroll down to Adafruit NeoPixel, and then click on Strand Test, and then you have a new window that will pop up, and this right here is the code that you're going to use to control the NeoPixels. You can easily customize this code to control the animation of the LEDs or the position of the pins. For example, this LED pin is connected to pin 6, and you can connect it to any PMW pin. And this code right here is the quantity of the LEDs. It's set at 60, but in my case, it's 300 LEDs. So what I need to do is modify the code. Upload the code, and as you can see, the Arduino is now programmed. And now it's time to power the circuit. And there, as you can see, it works. Waiting for all 300 LEDs to turn on.
and there, all 300 LEDs turned on. Perfect. As you can see, everything works. And there you have it. Now you know how to program a WS2812 NeoPixel RGB LED with using an Arduino Uno. And there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTitech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like and subscribe and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTitech videos. Till the next tech. Goodbye.